Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert will be talking about CloudFormation Designer. So let's get into the video. Now CloudFormation Designer, as we already saw CloudFormation Designer, it's a graphical tool for creating, viewing and modifying your AWS CloudFormation template. It's actually very useful uh, because uh, we just created one or two resources, but when you're creating multiple resources, we would need visibility of it, right? With a single within a single dashboard, I cannot log into each of the dashboard, go to the EC2 service and check whether EC2 is created, go to the S3 service and check whether S3 is created, or go to the Lambda service and check whether Lambda is created. That is not a feasible option. The CloudFormation designer will give me the visibility of what all components is there as per this particular template. It will also easily create the template using a drag and drop interface as we as I already shown. We can drag and drop the interface and accordingly it is going to create a template. So once you drag and drop then you edit their details in an integrated JSON and a YAML editor. So now for example, let's say I have decided that I want EC2, S3 and RDS. So I'm going to just drag and drop that particular resources into the uh, into the designer and there's a template gets created for that now go to the editor in the below terminal where you have an option of json and yaml and then add additional details or additional customization and come up with your new template and also it'll help you to quickly see the interrelationship between the template resources and easily modify the templates right so it also gives you a interrelation uh, how they are connected to each other are they connected to each other or anything it also gives you the interrelationship and based on that, if you want to modify it, if you want to make any changes, you can do that as well. So what are the benefits of using the designer? It will allow you to see graphical representation of the resource in your template. It simplifies the template authoring and simplifies the template editing. So it's actually very useful because if you see the previous one, we just previous example, we just created a, a EC2 instance and a security group for the number of lines of code involved for that particular code is somewhere around 400 500 lines of code now if i'm not having a visibility of it if i'm not having what is happening the editing and template creating a template will be a very difficult process so this will help us to a greater extent and helps us to simplify the authoring and editing and graphical representation of the resources that are included in a template and how they relate to each other it will provide that details and it also defines the information about your resources such as their size and relative position in template metadata when you open a template designer automatically adds this metadata so that the current layout is preserved when you save your template so when you open a template in the uh, cloud formation designer there will be a metadata gets created and it is also been saved and when you reopen a template in a designer, it displays the diagram exactly as it appeared when you last saved the template, right? So whenever you reopen it in a designer, it is gonna show it show show the details as it was as it was saved in the beginning. So wherein it is gonna save that in the metadata section. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if you want to dive deeper to any concept, then we have something really, really, really special for you. We have our free class on AWS DevOps for Beginners certification along with some demo. In this free class, you'll be learning about why learn DevOps and on AWS Cloud. What is AWS DevOps? Who should be learning about it? CI CD pipelines. You'll be getting a demo. You'll also be getting some hands on labs and job opportunities as well. So, in order to register for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash AWS DevOps 02. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now and add your event date according to your availability, enter your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of URL on the extreme right. Save that URL and I will see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.